y'all. Good morning. Good morning. As you have seen on our vlog, C6 fam, we've been busy. So I am just, today is going to be a great day. I've got to go to the store and kind of get restocked. I have a girl that works for me that does all my grocery shopping and it's amazing. But, um, Sometimes I just have to make a run that it's like fill up three carts and just restock. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. But right now I'm enjoying the sunshine. Having my coffee this morning. Watching the dogs play. And it's already 70 degrees today. Shay is gone um, working with um, one of his fencing projects. He's got a big project going on right now and it's the kids are at school Maverick has a state test today that they have to do every year so it's a pretty big day to him and he was exemplary last year so I'm hoping he does good he's done really really well on the practice so that's kind of what's going on I'll keep y'all posted I'm about to really dig into the word and get ready for some calls that I do for work. And I mean, how could you not just say, thank you, Jesus, when you wake up <laughs> for the breath in your lungs and this beautiful, beautiful weather. I, d I really do wake up in the morning and just think, God, thank you. Thank you for my life. And thank you for all these precious gifts you have given me with my children and my husband and the people who help me, I mean, I have literally get to be around the best people in the world. The people that work in my home and people I get to work with um, in general, and my family. It's feeling over the moon blessed this morning, y'all. So, that's how I'm starting my day, just sitting out. Which, you know, it's crazy. We bought this table last year, and it already looks terrible. Shay was supposed to call Nebraska Furniture, where we bought it, and find out what we can do that's a brand new table set. Anyway, that's just a side note I noticed as I was filming the table. So good morning, good morning. Walking in from a pool day, because I've got to get ready for work. I've got to go work tonight, not got to, I get to. And let me just show y'all what extra is. Our mirrors were dirty, now they're clean. Our sinks are clean. My bathtub is oh, clean. The girl that just manages my house, does all of our laundry, etc. She just goes over above and beyond. I'm like, no one touch anything in this bathroom. <laughs> Let me at least come home and enjoy the cleanness of it. Okay, Astro, don't touch. So I just have to say... Thank you, Helen, if you're watching, look, there's no dishes. See this? It's been ran, unloaded. Hallelujah. Thank you, Ellen. The lady that is a good friend of mine that manages everything here, she picks up every day and she keeps laundry and just keeps my house organized and we have kind of been in between deep cleaners so her job description doesn't include toilets and the bathtubs let me just show you this clean toilet can I just say doing extra doing extra is big it's just big Right, Astro? Ellen is extra. Say, we love you, Ellen. Say, I love you, Ellen. We do. He's going to say he loves me, but we love Ellen. We love you, we love you, we love you, Ellen. Oh, I had a little day off. Now, getting dressed for work. To see the Mav Man. How was the star? I want to hear. Great. Was it hard? 
Look at the little angel. Were you sleeping? Did you have a great day? I saw the on the playground. You did? Yeah. So what, did that make it great? Astra, Were you so sleepy? Astra, come here. Tell me about the star. Uh, Astra, come here. You want a treat? I mean, did you think you made a hundred? Were there any questions you didn't know? You think you made a hundred? What do you think you made? Which one do you have tomorrow? Reading. Reading. You know the fun way to the fun way to put that? Now I cross the table. Maybe you can't tell you. Can you make me mac and cheese, please? Yeah. Can you make me a peanut butter syrup sandwich with extra syrup? How do but you... make sure it's not like dripping. Perfect. What do you say? Thanks. Please. And thank please, you. Please, please and thank you. Please. Please and thank you. Where's the remote? I'm going to sleep. Casey Six Fam. Goodness gracious. It's been a awesome day. Beautiful weather. I'm headed down the highway. Headed to work. I did get to spend time with the boys this afternoon and love on them. I, I really try to be extremely intentional that if I'm going to work, if I have to work in an evening, because sometimes I do. So if I have an evening work event, I want to spend as much time with the boys after school as I can. So we got a good two and a half hours they're actually outside playing basketball. I could care less that I was leaving. So I am headed to work. I've got a two-hour drive to where I'm going to be speaking tonight at a function. And just praying that this is just uh, an awesome group of ladies that I'm going to get to meet tonight. I think one of my favorite things when um, I'm just... Privileged, I really think it is to work in the field um, with one of my businesses, and that is just to be around the incredible people that I get to meet and get to know them and love on them. And, you know, so many people come into one of my functions and they've had a hard day or it's been a long week, they're just carrying a lot of circumstances. So I think what I love what I just get excited about and what I pray over as I am driving over is that God just gives me the words and that I can be a light in their life somehow. So that is my prayer today and that is my hope. And I got in the car and dang it y'all we were out of fuel so I gotta stop at the gas station. Shay usually keeps me filled up but since weather has been good he has had a lot work going on, which is a good thing, and he's been able <laughs> to get a lot of work done because he's been way behind because of all the rain, so I am just fine to go fill my own car up. I'm capable of doing that, y'all. I didn't know if y'all knew that, but um, I'm about to be on a two-hour little road trip, and these are, I will say this, it's good times for me when I'm in the car. Because I just spend that time just getting encouraged. I usually put something motivational on in my car and pray, think a little, pray a little, and just ask God to keep my heart right. So I'm just, good things are coming. Yes, they are. Y'all have a great afternoon. I don't know when y'all are watching this. Some of y'all watch in the middle of the night. It's crazy. We get the report of when people are watching. And some of y'all, you, you may be watching this at 2 o'clock in the morning. If you are, whatever's keeping you up, I'm going to pray over that too. So if something's keeping you up in the middle of the night, a stress, a worry, you're being prayed for us. I'm driving today. So I hope to find everybody doing good. And it's sad. Directed my path today. Hey, C6 fam. I'm almost home. It's a little after midnight. And we had a 
very successful work night tonight. And as I've been driving, I've been mostly on the phone with Shay. But I was thinking about have so many people that are always in love with the lifestyle that comes when you work really hard, but most people aren't in love with this part of it, and they're not interested in doing this part of it, and a lot of people will try it and quit because you have to grind it out. And what I learned at a young age, no matter what I was doing, to fall in love with the grind. And when you fall in love with that, you know what, I may be driving home, she and I have some of the best conversations ever on my road trips, just talking on the phone. Sometimes I catch up with friends I don't really get to talk to when I'm just at home, because I stay busy when I'm at home. So I just, I learned to appreciate the small things, even though it's midnight and I'm just getting home, and there is nobody on the road at this hour, which that's a blessing in itself, but you do have to be somebody if you want great success to know it comes with a price. Tonight the price is getting home after midnight, but it's always worth it. Always worth it. I've got to be up in the morning because I've got to be in McKinney early. I've got a lash appointment. So, thank y'all for going with me tonight. I'll soon see six fam. So y'all, I'm back. The first thing I always do when I get home is just gonna check on my babies. And here they are. They have to get to bed really early because Maverick's got testy. Are they not just precious loves? So thank God I don't have to be gone much. Because I just want to crawl up in between them when I've been gone from them. I'm home. I couldn't have waited up for me. The best husband in the whole world. He had the kids bathed, sleeping. Did you feed them? Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all eat? Yes, I fed them. Memphis said he ate. When I got home, he'd already eaten. Oh. And then Maverick and I played basketball for an hour or so, two hours, and then he said, did he have, he had SpaghettiOs with meatballs and then ramen noodles. <laughs> they eat so good when I'm not home. And I had a bologna sandwich. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. Sometimes I'm good about, well, um, I'm not Memphis really good about having food when I'm not here. I'm not very good at that. Breakfast had spaghettios too. That's what he ate. Plus mac and cheese and all kinds of he said, stuff. Yeah. You worked hard today. Huh? You worked hard today, didn't you? I work hard every day. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he, he sometimes fibs. Uh, no, I don't fib. If I say it, you can take it to the bank. Sometimes. No. Sometimes you stretch. Oh, that, that, yeah, I think you're talking you about. You work hard every day. You're talking about yourself. Every day. You're Made it 
get to Shug's game. I'm gonna hit five home runs. You are? I just have to, I just have to tuck, it, tuck in the front. That's it. I think you have to tuck the whole thing in. Daddy likes you to look game ready. Do you love playing baseball, Shug? Yeah, just the basketball pumper. Memphis. Do you love playing baseball? Um, I like basketball better. You like basketball better than baseball? Yeah. Why? Because it's fun to get the dribble. It's fun to dribble? And shoot. If you go play real good, go get three out. Sure don't feel better. Let's get over. Oh. Okay.